Sorry I didn't mention it yesterday, but <laughs> knew that I had to sneak it in today. Gunnar Kynes on the mound, first pitch inside, and we're underway. I said to him, you're getting a lot of action in out there in right field. He's like, you're not kidding. <laughs> well, this is fouled back. Gunnar Kynes this year, 2-3 and three with a 491 ERA. Gunnar was not on the roster for the first two rounds. He made his debut when the Aces returned home from that series at Canberra and pitched against Brisbane. He's facing the Cavalry. And he swings and misses, does Campbell. Strikeouts have been a problem for him in this series. Five of those now mm -hmm. before they'll obviously rely on him heavily against Adelaide next weekend. And outstanding all season. I was thinking about this last night, Michael, if there was a real uh, uh, baseball ABL Championship Series. It'll be here Friday night, the following Friday night. <laughs> he swings and misses and Gunnar Kynes with back-to-back -back strikeouts to begin things here tonight. Here's Cam Warner, left fielder, batting third. And yeah. he takes a belt-high strike. Bottom of the lineup, three for six, having a very good series. Called the strike over the inside corner, and mm. Warner looks back to Min Park was entering play this afternoon. And a swing and a miss, strike three. Wow. Gunnar Kynes strikes out the side in order in the top of the first, and we go to the bottom half. Good start for Gunnar, good start for the Aces. Well, we go to the bottom of the first, and Kodai Hamea with his first pitch home. Robbie Glendening, one hit in the series before that, one pitch in the leadoff spot, and uh, John Diebel's experiment. It's an eventuality, but I think Ed and I would like to see it before yes, the I'd end of the day. Much better on the road, actually. That's There's a, a backdoor pitch. breaking ball, nothing in two. Won the last three in convincing fashion. Out to right field and down for a base hit. Oh, and that's a close play at second, but Glendinning in safely, so here's the 3-0. Yeah, they get me over strike. Yeah, Whitefield walks. <laughs> the bases are loaded with nobody out for Greg Bird. I set off the top. First pitch, swing and a miss, but I told you that Daryl George uh, had 39 home runs, sitting on 38 RBIs, 11 home runs. And he lines this into right field. That's down for a base hit. One run scores, station to station everywhere else. RBI number 39 for Greg Bird, and the Aces are on the board. one nothing here in the bottom of the first. Just a routine, and I don't say that lightly, Greg Bird hit. Just a great swing. Drives in that RBI you mentioned, and getting closer. The Aces have a one nothing lead for Jimmy Kerrigan. Swings and misses, nothing and one. Kerrigan's got one hit in the series, but that one left the yard. And this stroke towards right center, plenty deep enough. Campbell into the gap. Makes the catch. George tags. Throw goes to third. Whitefield in safe. Sack fly for Kerrigan. And RBIs in consecutive games for the midseason acquisition. And the Aces have a 2-0 lead here in the first from Jimmy Kerrigan. Watch Campbell on this. Fairly interesting. Does the old <laughs> chance to put himself on the right track. Here's a ground ball. It'll score a run through the legs of Barry. And Belvin is safe. That is an error all the way. He'll get the RBI, and the Aces have a three spot. <laughs> is that what you said? Well, he does pick up the RBI, <laughs> he so does. he puts the ball on he does. the ground right side of the infield, and Barry just delays that. Things can get tough, and it is all Melbourne here in the first inning. Ground ball right side. This will score a run. Mitch Edwards comes through. Greg Bird scores, and it's 4 nothing here in the first. <laughs> this is actually a... Pretty good little yeah, shower that's popped you can see up. see people moving and from their seats. Scrambling for cover. <laughs> it's like four runs in. Chris Burke lines the first pitch foul. It's 0 and 1. What's our uh, radar looking like yet? Major at all. I think maybe just a little squall, but we'll see. Uh, Burke behind nothing at two. Didn't play yesterday. First pitch. Strike one from Gunnar Kynes, who looks good. Perkins. But he does not have an RBI in this series. Has not had a plate appearance with a runner in scoring position. So yeah, he hasn't had many chances. Hard to do, doesn't it? This is kind of what I think fans wanted to see. Bang. How about that? Four Ooh. consecutive strikeouts.
for Gunnar Kahn's. That's unbelievable. And all four of these strikeouts for Gunnar swinging. That he is. A 2 0 favor on Friday night. And then last night, really good game. Canberra took a 4 0 lead after 2 2. Swing and a miss. And Gunnar Kynes with five consecutive strikeouts to start this game. And then finally, a ball put in play. First test for any of the Aces fielders, and Feldman knocks it down with a toss across. It's in time to get Barry. And six up, six down for Gunnar Kynes. An untouched beauty. Well, there is some of that. Jared Dale with a single back up the middle. And There's some opens. untouched beauty yes, right there. Yes, right there. Well, he did touch it, and it was beauty right <laughs> up the middle. But It was untouched because no player from... Oh, there you go. I see what you're that, saying. That's yeah. what I was working I get with, it. Right? I get it. And as we said earlier, John Diebel looks like a genius. And that is crushed. Left center. Moritz back on the track, and he makes the catch. That is a home run yesterday. <laughs> I was just thinking that. A warning track fly out today. We did talk about how the ballpark plays differently. Going to be a little harder today. Not as bad as we've seen in the past, but a little more difficult to get one out of the park. But doable, without a doubt. And that is Cross, deep left center field. Warner back on the track at the wall, and it's off the base of the wall. Daryl George with another extra base hit. Thought that might be the one. He's got a big smile as he cruises into second. Right-hander delivers, and Whitefield swings through it. Great numbers. 2-1. Whitefield in the air down the right field line. Campbell gives chase, and that is foul. Two balls, two strikes to count. You know, Ed, I wonder how much they really do a deep dive into the stats. It was a nightmare for him and this is ripped into left field that is down for a base hit gets past Warner Whitefield's got hits in 16 straight he drives in Dale George right behind him Whitey going for third he slides in safely and the Aces have a 6-0 lead in the bottom of the second so there is an error on the play swing and a miss from Greg Bird RBIs this is ripped foul by Greg Bird one more RBI for Bird and he'd be only the third player in Aces history with 40. What a breakout. Oh. And that pinballs into the Cavalry dugout. 1-2. Fly ball high in the air. Center field. Moritz back on the track. He's got room. Greg Bird with a very loud sacrifice fly. But that is RBI number 40. And what an accomplishment for the Birdman. Only the third player in Aces history yeah, contact again, and we hate to sound like a broken record and keep repeating it. That probably that was gets gone out last of night. Saw five combined home runs from these teams, three from Melbourne, including one from Kerrigan. <laughs> Want to get it back out there as soon as you can it's true. so we can keep rolling. And Kerrigan walks, so the inning continues <laughs> for Jared Belden. Let's get it back out there so he can keep rolling. Jared Belden in the air to right field, hit it hard, but Campbell makes the catch, and Kynes can get back to work. He's got seven runs to support through two innings, and the Aces have a touchdown and a PAT after two. We began play in the final day of the regular season across the ABL. Sort of veteran leadership as well. Brisbane was three games back with four to play, and there is strikeout number six for Gunnar Kynes. Seven up, seven down. That series. Here's another look at that uh, breaking Ooh. ball. Yesterday in game one of the doubleheader one. 17 to 2. Here's the 1 1. Ground ball off the middle. Ricochets towards second base. Glenn Denning, though, had to try and make that from shortstop, I think, of Gunnar Kynes. Get one more look here. Yeah, right off sure the heel. And Moritz is pretty fast. You're not yeah. going to get him. The series unfolds. Ground ball outside of third. It's foul. 1 and 1 to Jalen Greer, who's having a nice series. But. If there's a lineup that I think could pick some runs off of Wells, if they can get things squared away, ground ball to short, could be two, a flip to second. And on to first, there's a double play. It goes six to four to three, and Kynes has faced the minimum now through three innings. Make sure everything goes smoothly, and 
Hard to believe this is the final day of the season. First pitch, Edwards in the air to left. Warner back, still going, reaches out and makes a grab. That is a crafty catch. Edwards deserved better. 1-0. Good breaking ball there from Parsons back after his second inning in relief. 1-1. Ripped right to the first baseman, and Barry catches a missile for out number two. Hit hard. Well, that's two hard hit balls for Burke. Yeah. We had stat cast, of course, but <laughs> hardest hit balls. Swing and a miss from Dale, who singled and scored. 2 2. Ripped up the middle and down for a base hit. Jared Dale with two more hits this afternoon. First pitch foul back. 7-0 in the bottom of the third. Swing and a miss there from Robbie on a ball in the dirt. This has been uncharted territory to say the least. 1-2. Swing and a miss. Lendenning down on strikes. First strikeout for an Aces hitter this afternoon. The team in the league with the fewest number of strikeouts. Back to the top of the order for the Canberra Cavalry. Michael Campbell struck out his first time up. For both these teams, swing and a miss, breaking ball. Two strikes on Campbell, top of the fourth. Swing and a miss, Campbell goes down for the second straight. Time seven strikeouts for Gunner Kynes. That's a pop-up, should be playable. Dale over and makes the catch. Two down. He's hit that well. But right at Chris Burke, and it's another easy one, two, three inning for Gunnar Kynes. Oh, man. That's popped up into right field. Campbell, who's had a busy, busy series out there under it, and makes the put out. One away. Kept that hitting streak alive up to 16 now. Next up for your Mavisers. Ah, and, and he yep. gets it, and you give him a break. Absolutely. So defensively now, we'll have to figure out what. Let's play manager. I honestly have no idea what they're going to do. <laughs> That's popped up as well. Jack Barry running in, calling off the catcher Tilly, and makes the second out. So two quick outs here for ki Kim. In the bottom of the fourth. Sacrifice in the second. Swing and a miss. Strike one. That's grounded foul. So one ball, two strikes. Outside corner. Bird punched out. Ki Hoon Kim gets the job done. And I smell a hot dog wafting into the booth. That's hit into center field. Second hit of the night. So Robbie Perkins gets on to lead off. At the end of the bat. Softly hit, but effective enough. And Canberra with only the double play in the third. <laughs> Look at that. Fullerton rips that in the left field. Belbin's first action in the outfield, and just like that, the first two batters are on. So, boom, suddenly the Canberra Bats are awake in the top of the fifth inning. Canberra hitters, but... That's hit really well, but it's going to fly, fly foul. Barry way ahead of that, but boy, he made some contact. Yeah, Swing and a miss, good breaking ball, fooled Barry. Two quick strikes on the big first baseman. Swing and a miss. Got him. Good recovery from Gunnar Kynes. Eighth strikeout of the night. Good fastball inside corner. Strike one. Last game of the regular season for both these teams. Aces in the finals next week. 
That's hit well into left center field. Back, back, back. It's gone. Jimmy Kerrigan. Second home run of the series. Take a bow, J.K. How about that? Hit parade continues. You and I talked about it, but I Jimmy Kerrigan could be that guy the Aces are relying on. And it's great to see him with a couple of uh, home runs here late in the season. Grounds that one sort of weakly to Fullerton. He's up with it. Fires across to Barry. One away. Swing and a miss. Edwards. One and one. That's hit well into center field, but Moritz has a beat on it right from the start. Makes the catch. Two down. And he's out there with uh, two seam, four seam. He also mixes in a sweeper. By the athletics. and That's in for a strike. Three and one. In Major League Baseball last year. That's grounded into right field for a hit. So the veteran Campbell connects, pushes Greer over to second. That's grounded to second. Nice play by Dale over to Glenn Denning, throws the first double play. Lockie Amon, what a debut, gets out of the inning. Look at this play from Dale. Quick bang, Glenn Denning's in full motion across. That's a beautiful play by the Aces. That's hit hard into center field. Moritz is back, back on the warning track, still back. That's gone. He couldn't get it, and Robbie Glendenning with a home run to the deepest part of the ballpark. And I think the leadoff spot suits him, Michael Dixon. Yeah, so far so good. He picks up his fifth home run. That's hit well. Out, back, Moritz on the warning track, makes the catch. <laughs> oh, no. He's teasing us, Daryl Daryl. <laughs> Couldn't get two more opposite players in this one. It's an 18-year-old kid and the Yankee, ex-Yankee, who hits it hard, but it's going to be playable. Campbell drifting way over from right field into right center makes the final out. The two-run shot from Robbie Glendening gives the Aces a 10-0 lead. Lewis Thorpe, Scott Harkin. Oh. And a called strike number three. Beauty. Perkins down looking. Ninth strikeout for Aces pitching tonight. <laughs> now one to Christian James. And that is right there at the knees. And the payoff. Breaking ball, called strike three, and more of the same from Christian James. He's been so, so good. And here's Jimmy Kerrigan who led off the fifth inning with a solo home run. And he hits this high to left center. Moritz back, still going on the track, dives, and it one hops the wall. Jimmy Kerrigan on his way to second and standing there with a leadoff double. You don't see that very often in this league. 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball to third. Will score the run. Fullerton took an extra second, but his throw across in time to get Edwards. Two RBIs for Mitch this afternoon. 1-1. One, one. And grounded right side. Tough play under Park's glove. And Burke with his probably weakest 0-2. Oh, Swing and a miss. And Khalil down on strikes. That is a ground ball to first. They'll get uh, Daryl at second for one and a throw to first in time. So a generous double play. I don't think you're upset at all with Greg Bird playing that one safe. No need to beat it out. There's so many emotions in Williamsport every year. Swing and a miss. Joey Steele with yet another strikeout. And a cold third strike. What a way to end game number 40. Joey Steele, three up, three down. He picks up... Two more strikeouts. The Aces win.